Hello everybody out there in the uh, music and vinyl community. This is Mike Carmichael, Soldier 777. I figure show you another collection video uh, regarding the uh, three uh, companies th that are in the US that uh, I order from and some people on VL uh, VCLT order from, which is Gerda Music, Rox Productions, and um, and, and uh, Boone's Overstock. Um, so I'm going to talk about um, Gerda Music today for the most part. But I figured I'd let you know there's a um, on my last video I forgot to show you a video uh, with the Rocks uh, records collection I had, and this one is the Iron for Battle, Iron for Battle um, uh, seven inch, seven inch, and this consists of Walking in Darkness from a band Join the Dead, What a Joke, and uh, it's a beat which is covered by Mike Phillips, Jim Chafe, and Scott Waters for What a Joke, and the same uh, the same people for It's a Beat. Also, too, I want to mention to you as well where. Um, I was thinking about something there, uh, there, um, there um, lately. Um, what a joke! No, sorry. Uh, yeah, what a joke! Um, Mike Phillips plays guitar and bass. Jim Chafin plays drums, and Scott Waters on vocals. Now, there's also a version of um, what a joke on this CD, which is a tribute to Deliverance. It's called False, uh, which is from the band um, False Altified, which consists of. Uh, Face Altified, which consists of members of um, Face Down and um, and uh, Scott Spann's Ultimatum. Now, the the version where I joke on this one is Scott Waters on vocals, uh, Mike Phillips on guitar, Jim Chafin on drums, and Tim Cognac on bass. So I, I thought that what a joke would be the same version on this one as in this one, but I think it's a different version recorded because Mike Phillips plays guitar and bass on this one. So I think. Um, um, Scott Waters or um, uh, Bill Baffert, you can confirm this uh, this piece of information for me. Uh, so I'm thinking that what a joke is different version recorded or different uh, recording on this one versus this one. So there you have it. Also, too, uh, I've noticed too on the uh, um, Rocks re-release re of uh, Steve Execution, there's two bonus tracks on this one: "In You" and "Flesh and Blood." Which is 20th, 5th anniversary re record. Uh, this is, I think, this is the same version on this one from Deliverance, Flesh and Blood, and In You, 20th anniversary re record. So, uh, the same version of these two tunes on this one, the same version of those two songs, In You, Flesh and Blood. And what a joke on this one um, is a tw 2004 recording for each and George Ochoa. The different version of what a joke. So there you have it. So basically, when it comes to these three albums, there's three different recordings, not including the original what a joke, which came out on, on the album what a joke in 1991, not including that one. There's three different recordings of what a joke. So there, and I got all three versions. So there you have it. I just feel like you know this piece of information as well. There you have it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to feature the uh, Gerda music uh, collection I have. As you may know, Gray Hayes of Gerda Music uh, is uh, hails from uh, or currently resides in uh, North Carolina, and uh, over the years, um, especially recently, he has put out um, uh, uh, or repressed albums under his own label. So our first one to show is a band Sin Dizzy, which is uh, as you may know, after Striper broke up, uh, Tim Gaines, a bass player, and Oz Fox, a guitarist. Uh, for the band Sin Dizzy around 1992. As you may know, when Striper broke up in 1992, uh, no, sorry, when Mugga Sweet left Striper in 1992, they continued on for a little, for a while, for about a year, as a three piece with Oz Fox on guitar, Tim Gaines bass, Robert Sweet on drums, and Oz Fox also taking over lead sing, sing, Lee sing, Lee singing position. So, what they did, um, this album consists of. Um, uh, two two recording sessions or two demos, I guess you call it. Uh, the first five or six songs is one demo session, which I think in the 1996 period, and the last four or five songs from the 1992 uh, recording sessions, and those last few songs will be on the next Surfer album without Michael Sweet, as you may know. Uh, so there you have it. And this is also this is released by Gerda Music. This album really came out in 1998. I had the original Sin Dizzy version that they put it themselves, but I lost the disc. Only had the, the the inserts and the CD and the case, which I threw threw it out, and um, and um, yeah, so so there you have it. So and this is released from Gerda Music back in 
I'm going to get a year here. Uh, doesn't say. I'm showing a year when it was, it was reissued. And I don't have a year. Anyhow, I think it was re re reissued back around 2008. I'm, I'm guessing the year. Uh, it was really, but really, really released by the band as an independent uh, album back in 1998. So there you have it. So, also we have the uh, debut album from White Cross. They came out in 1987. This was reissued by Gerda Music back in 2005. Actually, no, I'm wrong. In 2007, it was actually no. It was originally done in 2005. But re uh, by Gerda Records, but um, no, I'm wrong. Sorry, this is actually this is a joint effort from Retroactive and Gerda Music. Uh, so there you have it. From so as you may know, Retroactive was done by Matt Smith and Gerda Music done by uh, Greg Hayes. So it's both. This is a joint effort between Gerda Music and Retroactive uh, Records. So there you have it. And this is White Cross at their debut, and also comes with uh, two bonus tracks: "Reanimate," which is instrumental, and "Love on the Line," which is from their uh, their EP, coming in 1988. There you have it. Great, great album. This is this is one of my favorite White Cross albums. And the next one I'm going to talk about is "Shout." So as you may know, this past year, uh, Gerda Music re reissued the first two Shout albums. As you know, Ken Templin is the lead singer in this band. He's one of the, my favorite singers. There's three uh, singers I held in high regard. Uh, Michael Sweet from Striper um, and Soul Career. Rob Rock from Impelitary and Joshua and Driver and Soul Career. And Ken Templin from Shout, Magdalene and Soul Career. And these uh, great singers. So anyway, Ken Templin fronts this band. Uh, Shout, I've shown this before. This one came out in 1988. And um, on the front line music, reissued by Gerda this year. Gerda Music Records, Gerda Music, and uh, it comes with uh, four demo tracks along with the original nine songs. This is in your, this is it won't be long. This is in your face. This came out in uh, 2000, uh, originally in 1989, and reissued this year. So it's awesome. Great, great to have these in my collection. Here's the back of these, and I heard the uh, difference in sound uh, in these records. It's like night and day. I mean, the original version versus this one. Uh, these red albums, so it's a big difference. Also, what you have here is a shout, uh, shout back CD. Also been repressed, really put out in 1999. Also repressed, reissued this year. Uh, by Gerda Music comes with three bonus tracks. There you have it. Also, we have uh, Ken Tamplin, the self-titled 1993 Tamplin album, um, and this also came out this year as a reissue, uh, repress. My Gerda music. Great, that's my collection. There's also, uh, this, okay, that's one of Can't Have My Soul albums. And what you have here is the Angelica um, demo session. I showed it before in a few videos ago. Uh, the Angelica that uh, Gerda music put out, which consists of, really consists of two demos that uh, uh, the band put out uh, with their uh, original singer, Andy Loin, uh which uh, because he didn't sing on the final product, which is this one. Uh, he was put through an ordeal, ordeal by Ken Tamplin. He sang on this demo demo version, but Rob Rock sang on this debut album um, uh, by Angelica. It was also put with Gerda Music this year. This region came out in 1989. Also, you have Walking in Faith. Uh, their second album came out in 1990. Also, uh, reissued, remastered by Gerda Music. And, um, and uh, oh, by the way, the, the, um, the, these, all these new Gerda Music uh, represses came out this year. Was uh, they believe the match was done by Rob Crowell, so I want to give that guy a credit as well. So there's Walking in Faith and the original Commit Nick Nunny on CD, and also to uh, Gerda Music uh, is also putting out um, and be, uh, being released tomorrow uh, a new Angelica album instrumental called Without Words, uh, which consists of uh, Dennis Cameron's guitar, uh, guitar instrumentals. And if you like Benny Moore, um, um, Tom McAlpine. Uh, Joe Saturini type of guitar playing, you definitely want to check out those, that album by, by Gerda Music. Uh, it'd be a definite treat for uh, those who like uh, guitar instrument type playing, uh, melodic type of music. Uh, so there you have it. That's my, um, that's my uh, video for today. Um, I'm getting into 10 minutes. I'm cut off here. And like I said, Greg Hayes, uh, Scott Waters, 
Bill Bafford, you want to respond to my video, or anybody out there in the VCLD, VCLT community. Um, and my next video, uh, which is coming up um, another, I'll probably show that another day or two, uh, will feature the retroactive uh, or Boone's Overstock Med Hayes retroactive umbrella of uh, releases. I'll show that in my next video. I have tons of those. That's, that's probably the most that I have in my collection is the retroactive version. I got about uh, 30, 40 of those. Uh, tons, of, tons of stuff underneath that uh, company. So, yeah, so there you have it. So, um, um, I got nothing else to say. Keep, uh, I encourage you guys to support these three stores, Rocks Productions, Rocks, uh, sorry, Rec, Rocks Records. It was called Rocks Productions. Don't go on that website. Go on to Rocks Records. That's your new website. Uh, Boone's Overstock or Garden Music. Because it definitely got some new uh, new stuff, old stuff, and bit in between stuff in uh, rock, hard rock, and metal. Make sure you check, and even extreme music. So make sure to check these guys out. All the best to you guys, and uh, talk later. Bye now.